This week in my visual journal, I created multiple pages. The goal through these pages was to create a visual connection between more than one page. I brainstormed for a while on what to create as my visual base for my page. And one night while reading a book, The Island of Missing Trees, I read a passage that immediately gave me such a strong visual connection, I knew I needed to recreate it in my book. Yorgos was silent for a moment. Then he said, did you know that in the olden days, people couldn't understand why so many birds disappeared in winter? He told Yusuf how the ancient Greeks were puzzled over what happened to birds when the days turned mercurial and cold winds began to blow down from the mountains. They searched the empty skies, trying to find clues as to where they might be hiding. All those black kites, gray geese, starlings, swallows, and swifts. Unaware of migration patterns, the philosopher of antiquity came up with their own explanation. Every winter, they claimed, birds metamorphosed into fish. And the fish, he said, were happy in their new environment. Food was plentiful in the water, life less grueling, but they could never figure out where they came from and the way they used to soar above the earth, light and free. Nothing could replace that feeling. So when the longing became too much to bear, every year around springtime, the fish changed back into birds. And thus they refilled the firmament, all those black kites, gray geese, starlings, swallows, and swifts. For a while, things worked fine, and they were thrilled to be back home in familiar skies until frost gathered on tree branches, and they had to return once again to the waters down below, where they would feel safe but never complete. And thus it went on and on, the cycle of fish and birds, birds and fish, the cycle of belonging and exile. 